Okay, how's it going everybody? This is Awaste back with another video on the channel. Now, the hottest topic nowadays is Mac Book Air, Mac Mini, and MacBook Pro with ARM uh, based processor. Well, Apple call it Apple Silicon. Now, I use Ionic Framework to do mobile development, and this is one thing that I use pretty much every day. I want to try out all the packages that are required to do the app development using Ionic Framework, which means you need uh, Angular or Vue or React. I will be using Angular. So I'm going to try installing Node.js, also Angular CLI, Ionic CLI, and then I will create a fresh project and then we will run that in emulator. I've already got an Xcode installed. So first thing first, you need to install a Node.js and Node.js can run under uh, Rosetta 2, which is a translation layer for running x64 based software. One LTS version, and I'm just going to install that. Okay, so we have a node installed. I'm just gonna move that to bin. I will open terminal and I will try to see if I'm able to access node. Okay, there you go. So we got a node installed, that's good. Now we need a few packages. Uh, let me just move this to the next uh, desktop. I must say, the, these ARM-based processor have actually made the performance way faster than I was expecting this to do. So I will go to Ionic Framework and I'm going to go to Installation and I will install this Ionic CLI. All right, so we got our Ionic CLI installed. I'm going to type Ionic dash dash version. You get to see there's a CLI installed. I'm going to use Ionic start. But first, let me go to the desktop. So I'll just use desktop make directory. So I'll just use Ionic test and i will go inside that directory and i'll use command ionic start and i'll use angular as my framework project name test and i'll just use this uh let's just say this side menu which is like a template i don't want to yep i want to use capacitor which i will use to build this project and that's what i do as well so it's installing this capacitor cli as well once the project is uh, project is created, then we will build it, and then I will run that in a Xcode emulator. But first, I want to make sure that I install Xcode, uh, not install, but actually start Xcode, because I recently installed it and I haven't run it on this computer not even once. So I just want to make sure that I start it, so I don't see any issues. Okay, so it looks like Xcode is running. There we go. That's cool. I'll create another desktop, virtual desktop, put it here. And once the packages are installed, then we will go and uh, build a project and then run it in Xcode. Okay, so our project is created. I'm going to get inside that folder and I'm going to use Ionic Cap Build iOS. And it says there is no platform or it says the Cocoa Pod is not installed. So I will have to install these Cocoa Pods for that. So let's go and try it out. So I'm going to just open Safari and I just say Cocoa Pod install Mac. And we'll go to... And then I will be using this sudo gem install Cocoa Pods. Okay. Let's uh, open Terminal. Let's open a new tab and paste that there. Okay, so we got this uh, Cocoa Pods installed. Let's close this and I'm going to use that command Ionic cap add iOS. I'm going to try adding the project. So again, it says Capacitor would not find assets library. Yes, that's fine because we need to build a project first. While I'm building this project, the best thing I am finding here is no fan noise. That's pretty cool. All right, so project is built. So I'm going to use Ionic cap, cap add iOS, installing iOS dependence, uh, dependencies now. All right, what I think the problem is, I'm actually going to close this and go to terminal add this folder, cd 
maybe it didn't find that we have installed Cocoa Pods, so I'm just going to open a fresh terminal here. Now I'm going to choose LS and find out if there is an iOS folder. Yes, I can see iOS folder there, so I'll just Ionic cap build iOS and let's see what happens now. And once that's done then I will open Xcode and I will open a project file then we're gonna go to desktop ionic test test and then I'm gonna go inside iOS folder and then here I've got a app and let's just wait for this to finish we go to app and I'm gonna open up this workspace so now we got some errors close this and let's see what is the problem there Okay, so as you can see, uh, building a project using Capacitor and Ionic, it's not really straightforward anymore and I tried research online a lot. So far, I haven't found any uh, solution to that. So my answer to that question, whether you can do Ionic based development on Apple Silicon Mac, the answer is no, you should not buy this computer if you just want to do Ionic framework development. And uh, yeah, that's where we end our this video.